okay, you lovely lot. So, we're smashing his vids out today, aren't we? Um, right, so it's baiting time, and what I think will be key when we get back there on the banks eventually in the summertime, probably going to be June, July time, realistically, isn't it? Um, it's going to be all about the ground bait on the mud line and obviously the margins. Where's my hat going? Where's my hat going? It's sliding on my face, folks. Um, so, if we get onto the, the main mixes first, then, so as always, F1 pellet soap, the F1 sweet, um, and the ground bait. I've already mixed the ground bait up, so I can show you in a sec, folks. But the, the swim stim F1 sweet for me is just uh, what's that in the background? Go on, I'll get away, mate. <laughs> You even get a little uh, a little cameo by Darth Vader, don't you folks? So, oh, me are, me are slipping up again. So the F1 sweet um, ground bait and the pellet soap, I want to mix it really, really over wet. Um, it's so important that you have a heavy ground bait when you're fishing in water, sort of, this is doing me a thing. Ah, yeah! When you're in water, sort of, two foot and less, anything over two foot, um, obviously your ground bait's got to be even heavier but you need to make sure that it is very very over wet now I mixed this ground bait up uh, probably about half an hour ago you see it in there that lovely F1 sweet um, I've riddled it so obviously get all the lumps out I mean the beauty of the dynamite ground bait is you don't really need to riddle it to be fair but you want to make sure there's no sort of like adverse lumps or anything like that so give it a riddle you know what I mean um, and then that's what you're left with so it's quite quite a you know a coarse mixture if you like it's not fine like the milled pellets um, it's quite a coarse mixture but all I'm doing is I'm putting that in as it is very over wet so as I say starting off wise now obviously it depends on the kind of waters that you're going on but let's take you know typical snake lakes for example like partridge Ollie what's your ball like uh, partridge lakes uh, Cudmore fisheries where they've got some great big F1s in some great big wobbly carps as well um, so typical starting off a session a smallish pot I want to be sort of like full full feeding that as I say over wet so I'll be putting that in across or wherever I find two foot and less of water that'll be going in and then I'll be going in with a little tiny baby pot now if you see there I've actually doctored these are our mat pots I've doctored that so it's got the holes in the bottom uh, you know me and Jay have talked about this loads where we're just sneaking our bait in in the water putting it just under the water letting the ground bait come out or the pellets but ground bait in this case uh, and then just lifting the pot up lovely and slow then lifting your rig into place it makes it let me get rid of this ground bait it makes a massive difference that folks in that you're just left with a little tiny pile of ground bait on the bottom and that's what you'll achieve only if your ground bait um, is the right consistency and over wet it's got to be over wet um, baits over the top big baits like a bunch of maggots worms or punch meat or even a big expander anything like that corn whatever you want whatever you've got confidence in is going to work um, but you've just got to be make sure you're putting it in the right way pretty much any fish meal is going to going to work but as I say I've got complete confidence in the F1 suite I just absolutely love it especially with the liquid in on top um, so yeah so get on it folks it's it's an amazing mix and obviously them fish are going to be they're going to be starving when we get back out and it's a brilliant way of fooling them this this ground baiting in the shallow water whether it be on the mud lines as i said or the margins in that you're putting the bait in and the fish are coming into the scent there's no other bait there other than your hook bait and they just absolutely love it uh, it works all over the place you know not just on sort of snake lakes but open water certainly down the edges and what have you and obviously making a slop out of it as well um, you know when you're fishing shallow you know for the newly stocked fish or what have you that'll work a treat but the way I've um, just gone through with you now will catch you a hell of a lot of fish. Goodbye!